since yesterday at church I've been meditating on uh, a scripture God showed me and I'm asking him what it means. I'm fascinated by that scripture that says the bride or the wife of Jesus has made herself ready. She has made herself ready. So I'm asking God what it is that we as the bride of Christ need to do to make ourselves ready. And what he showed me yesterday was that the bride and the bridegroom have have things in common, they have common interests, they have common desires, they have common um, goals. And he said that we need to line ourselves up with the Word of God and have those things in common. And uh, then he reminded me of a couple weeks ago when I was in prayer at church, I was praising and worshiping the Lord, and I just started dancing to this music as I was praising the Lord and had a vision. I was dancing with Jesus and he was just looking into my eyes and there was so much love in his eyes like like he really loved me but the playfulness he had a playfulness and as he was spinning and dipping and twirling and holding me to himself and spinning me out I could just see his love for me in his eyes and his playfulness and there was a playfulness in him that I never realized before because I always saw God as God the Father and the Holy Spirit as my teacher but I never experienced Jesus as the bridegroom and so I'm meditating and trying to learn more and to see Jesus as the bridegroom and he showed me in this end time the focus is going to be on him as a bridegroom because we're going to the marriage supper of the Lamb in heaven so his bride has to make herself ready um, and the focus is not so much on God as the God the Father but the focus is on Jesus as the bridegroom. And he, and he showed me um, the bride. Oh, this is really exciting. He showed me that the bride is her most beautiful and the star of the show. More than any time in her life is when she becomes the bride. She's decked out with most costly jewels, precious stones, gems, gold and silver, the most costly hair is done, her, her makeup is done special, she's beautiful, she's the star of the show, and he showed me that now, in this end times, that his bride is not ready, and she needs to see herself as beautiful the way he sees her, as gorgeous, he needs, she needs to see herself that she can afford to adorn herself with precious stones. She can afford to have the best. That she is dressed in white because she's pure. She's already made, oh God's just saying this right now, that she's without spot or blemish because the blood of Jesus has made her pure. And that's why she's wearing white. Oh, that's so cool. God just said that to me. So in this end times, we as his bride have to get ourselves ready. We have to have we have to agree with what the Word says about us, of who we are. Everything God says about us, we have to agree with that. We have to speak it. We have to hear it. We have to be around people that believe it. And we're His bride, and we're loved by Him. We need to see ourselves the way He sees us. And that's all for today. And that's good. And oh, God, talk to me some more about that. And my name is Robin Bremer, and you're watching Walks with God, and this is day 20 of my video logging, and tomorrow I will talk to you Tuesday. Have a blessed day.